Welcome back to And Why Not Podcast. My name is Vanessa. Let me introduce you our hosts, OMG Nikki and Chantel. Hi. <laughs> Yes. What's up? Hey, Lado. Hey, V. Hey. We in New York, right? We gotta say yer. 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 All right, guys. Welcome back. We're back. This is season two, second episode. I'm freaking excited. Are you? Are you? Got that bounce. Got that bounce. I don't got that normal normal bounce. This was like a quick wash and go, and I got like little stray hair. Does it? Yeah, it looks good to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can't hear you. Say it again. It looks good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I say it one more time for good luck. <laughs> I got two ears. Only here is the one. No. no, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, but guys, thank you for joining us again. Um, if you haven't, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and follow Artists of NYC Show. This is the NY Not Podcast. We're Artists of NYC Show, and we're also Artists of NYC Show One on TikTok. TikTok. Okay. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, and follow. YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, do that too. Yeah. Do that too. Your right. My IG is at Chantel Ophelia. And my IG is at O M G Nikki with an underscore or the Anna Nikki People Show. <laughs> Look, this one or that one. <laughs> A lot of you got work to do. <laughs> you got work to do. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so we gave our introductions we welcome you guys back yeah, um oh, oh yeah i'm sorry I, i'm spoiled you know, i'm Come right I here get... staring at you My <laughs> making eyes Damn. <laughs> but yeah we have our moderator vanessa Hello. back with us today yeah very yeah. excited to have you back again. Same, talking, same. talking your shit. Yeah, yeah, talking, talking your shit. shit. Talking Question. Mad. Question. Is bacon, egg, and cheese one one word? No. Yes, it is. It is. Oh. <laughs> of course, bacon, egg, and cheese. That's why it's bacon, egg, and cheese. Let me get a bacon, egg, and cheese. Let me get a bacon, egg, and cheese. That's <laughs> <laughs> own language, and why not in New York City? And you guys can follow me at Van G G N Y C on Instagram. Oh, you she knows her Instagram. I remember. I had to look it up again. <laughs> All right, guys. Listen. Make sure you like, share, share, share. What's your share sauce? Make sure you like, subscribe, share, follow, comment, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. You want it, we got it. Like, fuck with us. Come on, we even on Apple. Like, are we on Apple? I thought we was on Apple. Am I talking shit? Correct me if I'm wrong, creator. Oh, See, I'm oh. just saying. Like, <laughs> we there. And Lada made it possible. So, come on, guys. Yeah. Get in the conversation. Get involved. This is our second season. Season two. So, Speaking of conversations, uh-huh. there's a lot to talk about. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. There's a lot going on. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So we got topics like Drake versus everybody. Ooh, okay. Do you guys want to get into that? Yeah, like let's let's get into that right now. Uh, All right. So do you know about the Drake beef? I know what I saw on TikTok, and TikTok <laughs> is a 30 second video. <laughs> so, um, like explain the history of. Yeah, this history was the history. Oh. Yeah, so. These motherfuckers have been feuding since like 2011, like long time ago. Drake, so this whole beef, I feel like, is who is the superior artist? That's what it's all about, right? Yeah. Um, J. Cole had did a song with Drake. Um, I don't want to say recently, but it was recent, okay? With within the the newfound beef, right? So he did a song with um J. Cole, and J. Cole has said that Drake himself and Kendrick are the 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 okay. three three kings or whatever of, of the rap industry. <laughs> big three, yeah. The big three, yes. <laughs> Listen, I actually have a life, so part of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know okay. what I'm saying? <laughs> but um Kendrick Lamar responded with ain't no big three, it's just big me. And it's funny because he's little as fuck. Like number one. Like if you want to be literal about shit, like but I get it, you yeah. know? So that's how I, I feel like that's how the beef got reignited because in like 2010 or 2011, 
Drake was the superior artist over a whole bunch of rappers. When his album came out, the commercial success that yeah. it did, like it did really, really well. And he even collabed with Lamar yeah. on two songs. Poetic Justice mm-hmm. and then one of Drake's own songs, right? Yeah. Right? right. But Poetic Justice, I believe, came after. And um, I don't oh, that's what happened. Poetic Justice came after, and within that, like within like five or six years, there was no collab. They, they, they didn't work together again, right? And I feel like um um Kendrick Lamar had came out with with a song and Drake started hating on the song. Like Kendrick Lamar had had dissed a whole bunch of rappers in a song. I can't remember what oh, year, but control. it was after two thousand. Control. What? The big I Sean think so. Yes. Yeah, yes. 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 Big Sean yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. He was dissing everybody, right? Not everybody, but everybody. Yeah. All the other rappers was like, I, right, you know, it's rap. This is what we got to go through. But Drake was on one, you know, like <laughs> yeah. his feelings about it, and then that's how this whole thing got ignited again. And honestly, even though Drake was the like the last person to say something about it or like do like a diss, Kendrick won because Thanks, so. Kendrick think so. Kendrick won. Like yeah. that yo, Come they not now. like us. What do you mean they not like no. us? Do you think do you, this is not me, I just you know, I like to play devil's oh, advocate. Oh. But do you think musically it was it was a uh, like musically he beat him or is it like like, so, like publicly, because it's like people. It, you can't tell nobody nothing now. I honestly feel like battle. it was um both because Lamar's music I feel like has more substance than Drake's yes. music. Okay. Absolutely. Even though Drake does, he can sing, he can dance, he can act. Catchy His stuff is more catchy, commercial. Right. Like it's it's gonna get you like oh it's gonna get you hype. But Kendrick, you gotta think. Right. Uh, yeah. And listen, that they not like us video, I'm sorry. Like <laughs> the visuals alone, yeah. like in the subs, in the direct. Yeah. Like, oh woo, yeah. my head like it's blown right now. Like, oh my God. It's 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 visual brilliance. Like I just Yeah. I um, gotta fuck with Kendrick Kendrick Lamar on this one. And I mean, I I just think it's crazy because like, why are y'all really beefing though? Like, what, what is, is the fucking beef about? Nobody likes Drake, man. Yeah. Nobody likes Drake. We just talked about why? Jonathan Majors. Well, I mean, like, I don't have an issue. Drake, Drake is Michael Ealy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that Drake is Michael is Ealy at, forever. For a lot of dudes. <laughs> Where it's like you just co- you just coming in and you just light violating skin, with without... your light eyes, with your dark eyes, with your light skin, <laughs> with your red bone ass, coming in here swinging the records around. <laughs> it, it, it ain't even just dudes. Serena Williams slayed him at the the Epstein. She the did. She did have a lot of punchlines for him. Damn. She Everybody did. She did. But you know she didn't write that, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, do you think this is the end of Drake? Like, do you really think this is? No, no. definitely not. No. I and like, look, what so if you find that they were both? He's in popular. On this? Like, oh, this was like a plan, right? Publicity is a real thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that would be so like whack for both of them. It would be, <laughs> but you know what though? But, like, yeah, I'm but both of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's he's hard to cancel. I just like nah. I think he has too much. Too much like a large fan base for him to just be like, nah, you know, you you got dissed by Kendrick, it's done for you. No. So if you were Kendrick Lamar, yeah, and you knew that Drake was saying, hold on, what did he say about him? So I don't get this wrong. Okay. So you look at the eye level at the curves. (laughs) Okay, yeah. So Drake said that (laughs) Lamar's son is illegitimate. That he is physically abusive to his fiance, and he also accused him of having relationship issues. So, if you're in a rap battle and Drake is saying that about you, yeah. is there any coming back? Well, he called him a pedo. He called yeah. him a pedo. He called him a rap colonizer. Mm. Um, yeah, a pedo and a rap colonizer, and saying that he's. Doing this out of his home called the embassy. I'm oh sorry, my this is not God. funny, but like, <laughs> yo, no, I, like, is this really going on though? Like, is it a stunt? Exactly. Speaking of stunts, because what about? I'm just like, how can they? How can they accuse each other of these 
serious things yeah. in life, and then maybe Drake is canceled because this is the year of the no pedo. Even though pedo's all over the place, mm. you understand what I'm saying? This is the year of being truthful, and we should be truthful. Question: I'm not telling you. Should we be truthful to who the superior artist is, or should we just keep feeding what's more commercially satisfying? You know what I mean? Do you think that society is waking up, even the younger generation? I think they are, but I still have doubt that they're going to cancel him. Okay. Because I. Because he's part Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> she's like no yeah. <laughs> no I mean hey Jews got their hands and everything but that's a different story but I just feel like uh, so much happens with with artists where they're like yeah you're canceled you're done for and then let some time pass and people forget and then they're like oh it's cool he has this new song out I really like that song I'm be- sorry I know you're a pedo but uh, this song is fire the new song was like, cool. I wasn't yeah. done I was still cooking <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see how long that's going to last if they do cancel him for real. I just don't think it's I don't see him being canceled. I don't. I don't either. I'm just glad that uh, (laughs) how the last two weeks have been so crazy and now we have a new candidate. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think about that? (sighs) All right, so I'm going to keep it above. Kamala Harris. I'm going to keep it above and 75. And... I'm not ashamed. So if you feel ashamed, that's your problem, okay? I don't know shit about Kamala or Kamala Harris. I don't know nothing about her. Like, understand, all I knew was that she was... Vice President. Yeah, that, that's all I knew. I didn't really feel like I needed to know anything about her, honestly. I have listened to her speeches and stuff like that, but not in depth, not with any real interest. And honestly... I'm a woman saying this about another minority woman. Does she consider herself a minority? I don't want to misidentify her. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't even know that much. You understand? I don't know shit about her. I don't know what the fuck I'm voting for now. Like, I don't know. Like, I didn't know when Biden was coughing over the mic. Like, I have no idea. Like, (laughs) I'm still confused. I don't know her. (laughs) I don't know her. (laughs) That's that's the cousin 10th remove. (laughs) No, yeah. What about you? Um, I've been seeing things pop up on my page about her, but aside from that, I also don't really know much about this woman. <laughs> she kind of just popped up and, at, the, at the barbecue, at the cookout. Yeah, you know right. I mean? Like, oh, cousin, right? Okay. Ain't that Juanita's cousin from Brady who used to go down to the club in 79 with Brenda? <laughs> Basically. That look like her. That look like her. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I think of why we don't know? Because I feel like a lot of us don't look into politics. Because yes. usually it's something feels so out, like just so far. Mm-hmm. And like, honestly, with me, I never got into politics until like Trump started. Yeah. Yes. Back in the day. That's when I'm like, okay, you know, this it's concerns me. Yeah. Even though at the end of the day, I feel like, you know, it's all puppets. It's a whole fucking show. True. But I, I mean, I do think that we do need a change. Um, but not that much I change. don't want that. <laughs> you want your dollar back for making change? I want my change? dollar back for making change. Yeah. <laughs> my back and egg and cheese. But <laughs> I, I would prefer her over the yes. other. And I think, I think so that we do need that, like, in as, you know, we're diving into the future, what's going on, what's happening, like, you know, we do need somebody, a black woman, I think that's fucking dope. Yeah. If we can have a president like that, other countries do it, why we, Why can't we? So, they do make it a big deal, though, like, her I mean, they're, like, being her background, she was a prosecutor, right? Right, like, yeah. I'm not saying she's not qualified. And I recently found oh, out... Oh, I can't wait for the debate, though. Well, look... Oh, my God, I cannot <laughs> wait. Well, is Trump going to debate her? Because he's saying right. he's, he's not going to debate her. He's like, backpedaling. What kind yeah. of bullshit is this? Yeah. Oh, Trump. He's Damn scared. He's he's scared. scared. Yeah. He's, he's intimidated. Mm. Kamala. Honestly, Kamala. I don't know. I feel like we're doomed either way. Wow. The way I feel like I it is like... Because yeah. I saw like a commercial from her before I left the house. And she was dancing to Not Like Us. And oh, yeah. That. And then I went online and there was another campaign with Megan Thee Stallion. And it's like when... Yeah, when it that becomes one. this pandering thing of like we need black voters, like we need black popular. But Trump did the people. same thing. He got rappers. 
That's why I'm not the voting sneaker. for Trump. <laughs> yeah, the sneaker. I don't oh. listen to Lil Yachty and them either. So. Yeah, <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, I'm it's, a show. Show. it's a whole show. It's a whole show. Yeah, that's too expensive America for me. Like, could we get a little canoe? Some shit that I could afford to listen to. Who else? Little kayak. He got uh. Look. <laughs> What's her name? Amber Rose, ain't she on his oh, campaign? Yes, Rose? No. Amber is on there. Amber Rose is on his dick. I mean, his yeah, champagne. Man. And so we want to talk about Project 2025. Oh, Lord. All right. So See, that's, that's what's in store if you pick if that you pick, other side. So this yeah. is the thing, though. Okay, the Heritage Foundation, right, is this is where this Project 25 thing comes from. Everyone's saying this is 900 and something page document. Right. No, I haven't read 920 something pages or whatever. You got the cliff notes. Yeah. For right. the most part, um, the biggest thing, well, the biggest two things that worry me about this um, conservative blueprint for the next conservative um, person who gets elected, which could be Trump, um, is that they want to dismantle the educational system, one. And they've kind they of already started it. that. Already yeah. started. With the banning books. of the books. Mm -hmm. and the religion in schools yeah like just a lot of things that they're doing that when we were younger well we're still young but you know what i mean it was unheard of you know and it and apparently they've been around since the 80s and i couldn't imagine that they were as radical as they're getting now because listen the the dismantling of the education is the thing that scares me and the Medicaid, um, taking away from the Medicaid um, scares me because, guys, it's not about food stamps or your EBT card or eating better tonight. That's not really the part that I'm worried about. The part of the Medicaid that I'm worried about is the part that does the funding for hospitals, guys. The things that you need to walk into to get better. I mean, they're doing a bad I'm job already, about. to be honest, but... <laughs> they, I mean, they're doing a horrible they job, do. <laughs> but at the same time, this is the dream to a lot of people. Yeah. You ain't so it's, to get here. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's a yeah. gift and a curse. It is. And they're trying to change the conservative Heritage Foundation. Within that document, they're basically trying to change how America was built. Basically. All of the, most of the rules and the structure systems that have been set into place by conservatives is what they're going to be pushing upon us. That's Not being cool. able to choose right to abortion is what I'm talking about. Even though they've, like, we've already gotten a taste, guys. This is just a taste, a little appetizer that you did not order. Okay? Yes, you, you guys got to get involved. I spoke to a friend yesterday. She's not voting. And I'm not going to judge yeah, anyone whether they vote or not, but I had to ask her. I said, are you one of those people who think that if you don't vote, it doesn't affect you or, you know, this and that and third? And thank God that she's not one of those people who thinks like that. She's just really fed up with her choices, yeah. you know, so... I, mean, I, I give her that respect. There's also someone else running, but she's not getting as much exposure. I don't know who her team is, but she's also running for president. And she's like, um, she was on TikTok. I see everything on TikTok. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know. Is she an independent party? Yeah, she's an independent okay. party. She's a black woman. And she was like, yeah, like vote for me, guys. And she was talking about all the things that she's trying to implement. And from what I've heard um, her discuss, it was it was all good things. I think I wrote her name down somewhere. So you're going to have to come Please. back to me. Huh? Please. Yeah. Or it's going to be right there. <laughs> yeah, or it could be right there on the screen. <laughs> Where is it? It's right, right there. Right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see yeah? it? There it is. Touch it with me. You got a lot of work to do. There. Right there. Wow. Yeah. That is her name. That is her name. A lot of work to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I had cut you up. Sorry. Go ahead. No, no. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just curious if she was an independent party. I wasn't sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. She was, she was completely independent. And she said her hair's going to be on the ballot. Actually, exactly. <laughs> I just want to know out of curiosity. She's a sister. I'm just curious. No, yeah. Um, Are you she, sure? Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> she wears she wears her hair. Okay, okay. I like hair. it. I like yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's one. We of, need change. One of them. We do. And I mean, like, I know, like, people don't want to vote, the, but it does matter. It does. It really yeah. does matter. You know, uh, people just really gotta go out and vote. 
I hope, I hope, I hope we get steered in the right direction this year. Yeah, I hope so too. Because um, it's not looking so. good. What about <laughs> men to the draft? Listen, so, I don't have any children, but I have godsons. I have a few of them. And when I saw that, I wanted to text you guys immediately. I knew you probably already knew, but I, I didn't was like, actually. Oh, I didn't. But then I was like, damn, I don't. Not that I would be upsetting y'all, but I didn't want to upset y'all. But you sing, well, no, like it, it, it made me very scared. Right. Like I was immediate. I shouldn't even say this out loud, but I was immediately thinking, how am I gonna hide my god kids? How am I gonna do it successfully? Well, I need to go upstate and get a farm and have like a un- like I, I was I People was bunker. building bunkers right now. Like the rich people they have, they have the bunkers set yeah. up. Yeah, and I'm like, if they have that set up. Things are not okay. <laughs> like, things is not all right. But yeah, like you said, I have nephews. I don't have kids either. But like, I have people that I'm concerned about because that, like, that's just giving away. What happened to us being able to choose and being able mm-hmm. to be like, hey, I do want to be a part of this or I don't. Right. Um, I don't think it should be something that should be forced. And why, who, and what are we fighting for right now? Because I just, yeah, I, it's scary. And also, Speaking about the 2020 project, they're trying to kind of bring back 2025. Sorry, what else? 2020? Um, 2020. <laughs> they it's kind of like implementing slavery again. Like they mm. bring it. What is the the law that they're trying to bring back? Uh, shoot, why does it slip my memory? They they were talking about it. Can I bring up the video? Are you gonna mm. be able to insert that? There's a video. I have it here. But basically, they're trying to go back in time, take away all our rights. And I'm just like, this is insane. And uh, she was talking about how she's like trying to protect her daughter because, oh, are we running out of time? I'm, I'm no, stopping. No, no, no. Me, I'm just, okay. okay. I saw you looking at the watch. I'm like, damn, that's it. We're done. Nah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dang, I feel not ready. Well, but come back to me. Just tell yeah. us about the video because we can insert it later. What happened in the video? Okay, I I wanted to to quote her specifically, but no, just come back to me. It's just, just so back. much going on. That's that's why people have to vote. You know, they're trying to bring all these different laws back Let's and see. just just trying to like. It's not for us, <laughs> right? At the end of the day, it's not for us. Mm-hmm. So we had to be aware now. Trump is saying, um, I'm going back to the, mm-hmm. the 2025 thing. Trump is saying that, so a few years ago. But well, he was acting like he didn't know what this, was it. This is the thing, mm-hmm. though. He did talk about the heritage people or whoever they are without even seeing what they were coming up with. They were in the process of coming up with what they were coming up with. It's that he mentality. Gave a shout out. He gave him a shout out. Yeah, these people are going to help. It's going to be great. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. The way Trump, he said, it's going to be good, right? That, that's what he was saying about the Habitus people. They never showed him their hand, right? And he's not obligated to do anything that they're, they're these are suggestions, basically, that are in this book that a conservative um, politician who gets elected and who actually legally becomes elected can follow to make America great again, mm-hmm. right? Now, the issue is Trump is saying that, now he's saying, I don't agree with this. I've never seen this. Like, what is this? I've never know heard what of this her. Is. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what? Who? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? And it's scary because all Trump does is lie, guys. All he does is lie. All he does is lie. He will do it in front of your face. He will be on a panel and having discussions and not answer the question at all in front of your face, okay? (laughs) Like, he does this in front of your face. He is a master manipulator, great salesman. Great, great, great at that shit. But he's trying to manipulate the whole country now, guys. Like, I'm just like, come on, wake the fuck up. Speaking of manipulation, how about food and water contamination? Lord have like like what, what, what now? <laughs> Please, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you because I need to defend myself. Like, come on. Okay. Yeah. Please. So um, I did find the video. She. It was like okay. Anyway. So yes, food contamination. I am sick 
of the food here. Everything is contaminated. Every time, so I also have the Yuka app, and the Yuka app will Yuka. tell you. Yeah, there's an app. If you didn't know, there's an app called Yuka. It's um, Y U K A, and basically, like if you scan the barcode on hair products, food, it will tell you like the additives that they've added, what is toxic, the like just all the things that should not be in our food. And so I love using the app anytime I'm like well, getting like food. Oracle? Yeah, you just scan cool. the right? I need to download this app. Download it. It's so Yuka. good. Damn, well, don't can. take away you <laughs> like, like, oh, No, but yeah, it's really good. So I just scan everything now and then they show you um all the bad things that's in the food. And even the things that you believe is healthy. No, yeah. not healthy. You will see like all the, the the things that they add, the dyes, the the processed things, and it's just it's so bad. It's funny you say that because I was just uh, hearing something. I was reading something about how yeah, all these additives they're changing kids' uh, bio stuff. So like girls are um, hitting puberty at an earlier age. Yep. You know, I mean, I had this conversation. Fibroids. They don't even know where they come from, but like me doing this in my own research, like people are like, yeah, there's probably stuff additives in food, mm-hmm. in the environment, things that you're eating, things that you're wearing. Yeah, like, even all the these cl- things, right? Like they yeah. have like little traces, and over the years, it just adds up and get people sick. And yeah, then, you know, they're like, oh, everybody, everybody get cancer or something. There's always something. Oh, and listen, like, cancer is gonna be like a common call, mm-hmm. right? Like, it already is. It, it's, yeah. it's already almost there. Yeah, it's so wild. It's gonna be matter of factly, just... unfortunately, you know. Yeah. But we can do things now, as far as eating, creating a better diet, limiting, or, and this is big for me too. Not having sugar, mm. not having dairy, like cutting things out like that that allow mucous membranes to generate and joints to inflame mm-hmm. and also releasing trauma and not holding on to things emotionally, oh my God. that would take away cancer. If we all did that, that would take away cancer, I feel like. And we wouldn't have to be going to the doctors as much and taking pills and becoming reliant on... Therapy. Which is what they want us to mm-hmm. do. They like, they like, take this. Yeah. And then you take, you come back because you took that. And then you keep on coming back. And I was just like, oh, God. Yeah. But for I saw this video also where, like, they did an experiment on two rats. One rat and took a lot of sugar. The other one didn't. And the rat that took more sugar couldn't remember its way out of. Yes, you saw that? I saw that. Yeah. It affects the brain the... so much and there's like a higher, like uh, Alzheimer's, right? Yes, like, Alzheimer's. But exactly. But hold on. Yeah. What kind of sugar was it? Oh, I didn't get that information. Was it white sugar? I think it was white sugar. Okay. Probably. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, everything else is like chemical too, like Splenda, all those things. I don't drink, I don't eat Splenda. I, do, I, I wanted to know if it was cane sugar or brown sugar. I was just um, curious. Yeah. I, think I was, was just curious. Okay. Yeah, probably. It's the white sugar. <laughs> white. <laughs> it's all white sugar. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Just like it now. For no reason at all. Nobody me. <laughs> white. <laughs> She's with the shit. <laughs> Yo, nah. That's anytime it's white, I'd be like, and it's white. <laughs> You better toast my bread a little more. I know it's white bread, but make it brown. Make it brown. I need the the wheat one don't taste good when it's brown. (laughs) That's burnt. (laughs) Oh my god. Yo. That's funny. Oh. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, and follow. I was laughing so hard at that joke. Like, even though we in the studio, I forgot where I was at. (laughs) Make sure you guys like. Share, subscribe, and follow. What they got to do? Like, share, comment, subscribe, subscribe, follow. That's right. Let's do that again. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow. That's right. One more time. We need a little song. Like, like share, share, subscribe, subscribe comment, What's the order? <laughs> <laughs> it's your song. I'm just doing the ad lib. What you mean? <laughs> you better sing your song now. <laughs> you right. You right. Hold on. 
<laughs> oh my god, it's hot. All right. We are the NY Not podcast on the platform Artists of NYC Show. show. Guys, yes. You can catch us on TikTok at Artists of NYC Show One. Okay. Uno. Instagram is just Artists of NYC Show. Okay. Oh. Yeah. YouTube. YouTube. Artists uh, of NYC. NYC. Oh, NYC One. It's not there. One. 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 So the YouTube is the one also. TikTok yeah. is the one also. Okay? Yes. Um, all right. So what's next on our... Oh, yes. Artist of the week. Guys. Oh, my God. Okay. So let me get my... Because <clears throat> this artist is very, very new. Well, you know what? Not new, new. She's new to me. Her name is um Shantae Patrice right uh she is a New York native and she moved to New Orleans uh, within like the last two years of her high school so she's still a New Yorker okay I, I just want to make that still very counts. clear still yes she is a very versatile artist you can see it in her style and the way she sounds um she raps, sings and she makes artistic uh, music videos and she models like, mm. I feel like just looking at her at first glance, you can tell that she's definitely into fashion if you didn't know what she did already. So I just wanted to shout out this amazing artist, um, Shantae. Make sure you guys follow her. Her Instagram is right here. Yes, that is her Instagram. <laughs> this is an amazing <laughs> artist from work. New York City, and I am hoping very, very, very soon that Shantae and her people will be coming here to join us on our couch or in one of the seats of the NY Not podcast on Artists of NYC show. So I'm very excited about that. Okay, let's clap it up for Shantae. Yes. Hey. Woo. Hey. So girl. Do you have an artist of the week? Um, I do have an artist of the week. His name is Searchin. It's actually so. Nice yeah. It's nice. His music, he does R&B. It's very soulful. Um, I went to high school with him, so shout out to him. He has uh, two singles out right now, and it's spelled S-I-R-C-H, comma, or hi not hyphen. What's this? Apostrophe? N. There we go. <laughs> I'm like, I know the motion. Hi, guys. Listen up. We have an NY rant. We got a disgruntled Knicks fan. <laughs> I'ma just I'ma just let this Knicks fan say what he got to say, okay? And he's from New York, sure they. He's from New York, sure they. Why sure. why why they want to talk about the Knicks at all? I don't know, but go ahead. You really see, you one of the people I'm talking about, man. <laughs> yeah, man. What's going on? My face is blurred, so just call me Kareem for the sake of this, man. And yeah, man, my rant is for all the people talking shit about the Knicks for the past year, man. I'm here to tell you all congratulations. It's officially gotten old. Yeah, man. Fucking, y'all sound like some bitter fucks because your team's still trying to recruit LeBron when he's 49 and wants to play with his granddaughter, man. Talking shit about Jalen Brunson because he took a pay cut. He took a pay cut, so what? He clearly wants to win and for the town, man. Y'all only want to win at the bank. Hit up the cute little teller and shit who calls you by your middle name and wears the nice outfits with the espadrilles. Offers you a free latte when you walk in. Gives you a free checkbook with smiley faces on them when you leave. And you tell yourself, I'm going to buy that girl one day. <laughs> That's Yannick. But I digress. We bust Philly's ass in the playoffs. <laughs> we going to do it again. Tyrese Halliburton, we coming for you. What's that? What's what that? Year was that when y'all bust Philly ass in the playoffs? This was last year. This was recent. This was not the 70s. <laughs> Cause I know that's what you about to say. Ah! Okay. But in conclusion, fuck the 76ers, fuck Joel and Bead. I know it's you calling my house and hanging up because of what I said about you in that other podcast. You don't scare me. You need to tell your Cameroon cousin to stop speaking in your on your prank calls because he's giving you away. Anyway, fuck Philly. Uh, except for Always Sunny. I love that show. <laughs> and anybody who isn't a 76ers fan, y'all good. Fuck cheese steaks. Fuck Amber Rose. Fuck the Liberty Bell. And in conclusion. And fuck Taco Bell too. Go fuck ahead. Taco Bell too. Nasty man. <laughs> what is that? Beans or brown gravy? That's a shit that. <laughs> and in conclusion, just for some home awareness, can we get some deals on some tickets out here, please? At the garden. 
Three hundred dollars to watch Mitch hurt him, hurt himself again is ridiculous. I mean, that's blowjob prices in New York. I leave satisfied either way, but with that price, I'm gonna need somebody at the door, Madison Square Garden, to shine my balls when I walk in. Man, I love this team. <laughs> Okay, guys, and on that note, I'm so sad that we got to say our goodbyes. Really and truly. We had so much fun with you guys. This was one of the best NY rants, NY Not Podcast rants um, that I've heard before. I'm Kareem. <laughs> <laughs> to be clear. Kareem Abdul, no car. Because he ain't going nowhere. Because he's a Knicks fan. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, but this is Kareem, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look them up. Hey, if if you are someone who um is close to the Knicks or affiliated with the Knicks, Please. um by real association, whether it's management, whether it's the promo team, whether it's the cheerleaders or whatever, get in contact with us because Kareem is really a diehard Knicks fan. And even though I think they're garbage, that does not mean that he shouldn't enjoy Yikes. the experience. Okay, so let's help him out. It was not podcast, guys. Let's um welcome our um let's thank our moderator, Vanessa. Vanessa! Vanessa. Yeah, we had such a great time with you. So knowledgeable of all of what's going on. Jack of all I knew you were the bomb, but I'm just glad to show you with the world. Yeah. And guys, our new host. Chantel, Chantel yeah. new co-host, new co-host, woo! Many of you guys already know who I am, OMG with the underscore on IG, and also of the I'm Naked People show. Thank you so much. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, and follow artists of NYC show, or artists of NYC show. NYC show one. For the NY Now podcast, guys. This is our second season, episode two. We have a very funny promo out that I hope you guys have been liking, sharing, and watching, and leaving comments because it's fucking hilarious. Written by Kareem's cousin, Lauda. Kareem's cousin, Lauda, over there. (laughs) (laughs) So shout out to you guys. Shout out you if you're a New Yorker. Make sure you guys log on, share, subscribe, and follow our platforms. And we'll see you next time. Thank you you so much. See you next time. Why not?